Hey, and welcome to this video about the upstream project management plugin for WordPress. I'm going to show you how you can customize the front end of your upstream layout. Upstream does come with a layout that looks different from the rest of your WordPress site. So if you have customers, they may not even realize you're using WordPress. This may just be the project management area for them. It is possible to customize just about any area of the upstream layout you see in front of you here. That's possible because Upstream has CSS classes available for just about any part of your design. You're looking at CSS classes for projects, for tasks, for milestones, for files, for just about any part of your Upstream front end. And we've given you some examples in this blog post, and I'll link to the blog post under the video. We've given you some examples of how this works. These are custom CSS classes that you can drop into your theme, or if you want to do it through the WordPress customizer, you can click Appearance and Customize in your WordPress admin area. I'm using the default 2017 theme that just about every WordPress site has, and I'm in the additional CSS box for that theme. All I'm gonna do is take this CSS class and we're going to use display none, which will hide the avatar box for our site's visitors. Copy and paste the code, click publish. And if I refresh our site, the avatar box is gone. Let me take you through a second example. This second example is going to show you how to remove the export button. You'll see the export button on individual projects. It allows you to download the information in your projects to plain text or CSV. This came from a particular customer who didn't want to make the export button available to their users. And again, we're using display none to remove it from our site. I'll copy and paste that CSX text, click publish. And if I refresh my project, you'll see the export button has gone from milestones, tasks, and it'll be gone from elsewhere. Let me take you through a third example. In this case, we're going to remove the client row from the front of the site. This is a row that's available where you have a list of all the projects on the front of Upstream. You can see Apple, SpaceX, and Apple again in this particular client column. Again, we're using display none to hide this column. Copy paste. Click publish. And the client row has gone. In this example, I've actually come up with a slightly different approach that we could use instead of hiding it. I don't particularly recommend doing this. It's going to look somewhat garish, but you could replace display none with background color red. And there we go. We're able to customize what our site looks like on the front end. So if you're interested in doing more of this design, look underneath the video, You'll find a link to the instructions I used in this video and also a link to all the CSS classes you can use to customize your upstream layout. Thanks for using upstream.